In this video, we're going to continue looking at solving a system of equations, finding the values for x and y that work in both equations by using substitution. However, this time, we're going to look at the fact that just as we can replace a variable with a number, we can also replace it with an expression. As we do this, we need to know that whenever we substitute, it's important to remember to use parentheses. I think that's ES, parentheses. So for example, when we look at the equations y equals 5x minus 3 and negative x minus 5y equals negative 11, what we notice is Similar to previous problems, instead of saying y equals a number, this says y equals an expression, 5x minus 3. However, we can follow much the same logic and go to the other equation and replace the variable with what it represents. Replace it with 5x minus 3. So when we do that, we get negative x minus 5y, which is now 5x minus 3, equals negative 11. Notice the importance of the parentheses that I put in there as we solve, as we substitute. This now looks like an equation we would have seen a long time ago in our math career. We'll solve first by distributing negative x equals negative 25x plus 15 equals negative 11. We need to continue simplifying by combining like terms, negative 26x plus 15 equals negative 11. It's now a two-step equation. Subtract 15 from both sides. Negative 26x equals negative 26. And finally, divide both sides by negative 26, and we find out x is equal to positive 1. We now know what x equals, we just don't know what y equals. Well, to find out what y equals, we're going to find the equation that says y equals stuff. Here, we're told that y equals 5x minus 3. So if y equals 5x minus 3, x is 1, 5 times 1, minus 3. So y is equal to order of operations, 5 times 1 is 5 minus 3, y is equal to 2. We now have our solution as x comma y, 1 comma 2. When x is 1, y is 2, both of these equations become true equations. Let's try another example. In example 2, we're looking for either a y equals or an x equals, and what we find is the second equation is x equals 5y minus 22. Well, that's really nice, because now when I see an x in the other equation, it can be replaced with 5y minus 22. So instead of saying 2x, we'll say 2 times 5y minus 22 minus 6y equals negative 24. And now we start solving, first by distributing to give us 10y minus 44 minus 6y equals negative 24. Combining like terms, the y's, 10y minus 6y is 4y minus 44 equals negative 24. It's a two-step equation, so we add 44 to both sides. This gives us 4y equals 20. And finally, divide both sides by 4, and we now know what y equals. y is equal to 5. We know what y equals, we just need to figure out what x equals. To find out what x equals, we look for an equation that says x equals stuff. We're told here that x is equal to 5y minus 22. So if x is equal to 5y minus 22, we can replace the y, if it'll disappear on me, here we go, ah, 5y, y is 5, minus 22, and use order of operations to solve. 5 times 5 is 25 minus 22, and 25 minus 22 is 3. 
So our solution, always x comma y in alphabetical order, is 3 comma 5. Just as we replace a variable with a number, we can replace it with an expression in parentheses to solve the system of equations.